Elaborating on um, not listening always, we can go back to Lincoln on this, not always listening to people who are aligned with your thoughts. In other words, that are politically in line with you. That's politics. People who think alike are politically aligned. Okay. It's better, in my opinion, to challenge yourself. Like my friend just challenged me here. Um, if you think something's good, get another opinion. It's not always good to, oh, well, I think it's great. So it's got to be great. Always think about aligning yourself with good people, but not necessarily people who think like you do or identically to how you think. The other thing is, as I was uh, sort of alluding to in the other um, uh, segment, is that when people come to you, it's sort of like foxes in lamb's clothing, right? Or whatever the biblical, biblical term is. Uh, beware of people dressed up as a little lamb, but they're actually a fox, whatever it is. I can't think of the quote. A lot of people will say a lot of things to you as artists. I'm speaking strictly as artists, jazz, whatever. It doesn't matter what kind of an artist you are, a portrait artist or whatever, painter, sculptor. Everyone has an agenda, everyone. I have an agenda, no matter how much I profess, oh yeah, I'm all, Everybody has an agenda of some kind. It may be a good agenda, it may be a bad agenda, but they have an agenda. Be very careful of people that people's agendas because they may be fooling you through these very clever little forays into the woods that they're actually on your side because they're complimenting you, but actually they're doing you wrong. They're actually setting you up for the kill. I'll give you a case in point. Let's say there's this very, very talented person. And this talented person is in high school. And this talented person, we're not going to say what they do. I'm not going to say, I'm just making this up. This talented person is very good at what they do. This talented person starts to accumulate sycophants. People who say they love this person. Oh, you're so great at what you do. You're so good at this. You're so good at that. And he accumulates and accumulates and more and more sycophants come. You know what a sycophant is, right? Yeah. I'm not going to get into the definitions here. So he gets all of these hangers on and all of these sycophants and all these coattail riders and guess what happens? He believes it. He believes everything these sycophants are saying. And this person is a little bit desperate. Have you ever had moments like that? Where you think, wow, I really need this person. This person is the only person that can do this for me. There's no other person. And so this talented person starts accumulating from childhood people that say they agree with this person, but they don't agree with this person necessarily. They have an agenda. It's all theirs. It's all about the coattail rider. It's all about the person who's saying they're aligning with you, but they're not aligning with you. They're aligning with their own thoughts. And they use you to accomplish the agenda. Be very careful, and I don't say this lightly. This is a very serious Jack's Priceless. Do not believe everything you hear. Please don't. Don't even believe your own thoughts. Rather, keep your head down like we talked before. Swim to the finish line. Don't raise your head until you're done. Keep focused. Don't believe everything you hear. Because you've heard of the phrase, you might get what you pray for. You might turn into what they're telling you you are. Because you're never as good as they compliment you. You're never that good. It's all a facade. It's plastic. It's fake. So be very, very careful of who you make friends with. You are who you hang out with. You are what you eat. You've heard that, right? It's the same thing.